Hey everybody, welcome to post-Christmas Gaming Hall. We've got some exciting games and things to share with you. It was definitely a retro Christmas. So I am going to start out with something special. Uh, this is a Game Boy Micro and it's the 20th anniversary edition. Uh, so it Famicom looks like color. a Famicom. Yeah, it's pretty pretty awesome. And the faceplate comes off, which is pretty cool. I didn't really know that. I'm not going to take it off right now. Um, been having issues with it randomly shutting off and the left button. And these screws are really tiny and they will be the death of me. So this is a desperate cry for help. If you know how to get stripped tiny screws out. I think they just need a contact screen. But anyway, it's really cool. It's so tiny. The screen, when it's on, is so clear and beautiful. It's crisp because the pixel, the, the pixel density is, I don't know, it's, it's taking the same GBA screen and making it smaller so it's, it's more densely packed. And crisper, especially for something that, like Golden Sun. Gosh, it's the greatest. I mean, this is probably the coolest Christmas present I got, and definitely the most exciting. Uh, so, I started out with the best here. And speaking of Golden Sun. Yeah, speaking of Golden Sun, this is the game that I got with it. Uh, and I've started playing it, and I've, I've gotten into it. But uh, I kind of want to make sure that I get everything in working order, because I really do want to play it on the Game Boy Micro. I have other things I could play it on, but... Two other things, in fact. Actually, three other things. You can play on retro. I could, but it's not the same, and I want to play it on this. We got Earthworm Gym 2. Yep, Super Nintendo. The Super Nintendo, which uh, apparently this game is hard as shit. It is. So, I think I watched a video it's about it cool, recently. Got a cool looking first level. Waterfall and shit in the background. It's awesome. It was really, I really love Dragon Quest. And so, it really was a Dragon Quest Christmas over here. But I got Dragon Warrior 2 for the NES, which is really exciting. Yep. Feel pretty good about that. And we also got Xanak. Shooter. Yeah. So that was pretty cool. Not a very expensive game, but made a great stocking stuffer for Andy for Christmas. And this is also a stocking stuffer. Wario Land for the Game Boy. Yeah, Super Mario Land 3, colon Wario Land. It's the first one. Game Star and Wario. It's I, awesome. I haven't tried it out yet. Also picked up a game for the Neo Geo Pocket Color. So nice. Pocket Adventure. Sonic. Pocket Adventure. Yep. So Sonic Pocket Adventure. You said it was really hard, didn't you? No, I just about beat it today, actually. Oh. And I got to the last level. It well, saves. Maybe that was something else I was thinking of. Uh, for the N64, we got 007. Go now. Uh, a buddy of mine gave it to me. He was cleaning out his parents' closet and he said, Do you want this? I was like, Hell yeah, I do, because I've been looking for it. Hell yeah. So shout out to Mike. Yeah, thanks, Mike. I got this game for the DS and I have been playing it hardcore. It's Dragon Quest Heroes, Rocket, Rocket Slime. Slime, and it is so fun. It's a spin off of the Dragon Quest series where you play as a slime. And. I'm addicted so far. I have rescued 60 slimes in for the town of Boing Boing. I'm sure everybody understands that. It's really fun. Speaking of Dragon Quest, uh, so I got Dragon Quest 4 for the DS. So completing the mainline series for the DS. We got four, five, and six now. And yeah. nine. Uh, the ones I've beaten, I've beaten nine, eight and five so i still have a lot more dragon quest in my future which is exciting i'm glad it's not over and i also got this for the ps4 which is um the remaster games for spyro and for crash bandicoot the trilogies mm -hmm. so six games in one six games in one and I've almost beat the first Spyro, and I will say it hit the spot. I mean, I was everything was beautiful. They did a great job with it. it it's still relevant and so fun to play. Um, but I just couldn't beat the boss, so I went ahead and started the second game. 
And then I've never really played a lot of Crash Bandicoot, but I started playing the first game and it was really hard. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to make it through that. We also got Soul Calibur 2 for oh, the GameCube. The, game the one where you could play as Link. Yeah, actually, he's on the front cover. He is. The top. Is that him? Mm -hmm. He's gonna look like hair, but I guess it's his hat. His hat. It's Link. It's Link. And we got this cool. Heavy thing. It's, it's really heavy. It's like a brick. It's a SNES Advantage. Super Advantage. Super Advantage. It's an arcade okay. stick for a Super Nintendo. It's heavy. It's got all the turbo uh, stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, my brother had one growing up. And God knows what happened to it, but now I got one. Yep. And I got a bunch even, of fighting games for the Super Nintendo. I haven't even tried it out yet. And I need to. Use I have. It's neat. And I got this for Christmas, the NES Classic. You know, I totally have most of these games that are on here, which is, I'm proud to say. Uh, but it is super fun and really cute. You can hook it up to the TV and it is a great display. You can hack it. Yeah, we haven't hacked it yet, but I'm sure that's in our future. I got these two gifts for Andy, which I hope he's happy with. Um, but Mega Man X2 for X2. the Super Nintendo. It's in great condition. Yep, I'm excited. Pretty exciting. I love that cover. And Mega Man X3. Yep, the big one. The big one. Uh, label has some wear and tear, but still pretty rare game and pretty awesome. Yeah, so. I used to have it when I was a kid. It's since disappeared. Don't know what happened to it. So I'm glad to have it back. It's great. And now we have all three X games on the Super Nintendo. Yep, we do, which is pretty cool. Also got a pretty big gift here. It is the Sega Saturn. Finally got a Sega Saturn. And we got this for Christmas. So pretty sweet. Came with one of the uh, the newer controllers, uh, not the launch controller. So it's got a nicer controller. Than you would normally see. And speaking of controllers, um, we got Nights into the Dreams and it comes with the 3D controller. Yes, that was from my brother. Yeah. Uh, fun fact, I got Andy the exact same thing for Christmas, except for it wasn't in box. I had purchased the game and the controller separately. And of course we decided to keep the box version because That's it's cool. way cooler. But um, anyway, we sold them on eBay and we will get something else cool that I'm sure you'll see we get a Sega on Saturn one, of, one of our future gaming halls. So, really excited about this. And I played it. It seemed pretty fun. I really want to get the Christmas one. Um, we got Virtua Fighter 2. Yep. And cool silver box. Yeah, this box is way cool. Super cool. Be careful with break. Yeah, maybe a little flimsy, but that's the game that's currently in the... Yeah, let's mess around with it. Sega's having right now, so it's not in this case. You probably saw it when I opened up the lid. And we need a memory card, so action replay. It's not really. It's it's a memory expansion. It's for uh, this does that thing does a bunch of things. They sell them on Amazon, brand new. Yeah, this is brand new. Um, but it's got the four megabytes of RAM used to, needed to play some of the uh, fighting games that need more uh, RAM for the sprites and shit, and it's also got uh, a poor action replay on it so you can put on cheats, and it's, uh, you can, it, has, it disables the region locking so you can play Japanese games. So, so Andrew, what? I must ask you a question. Uh, what was your favorite game that you got for Christmas? Mega Man X3. Well, I'm torn between uh, Rocket Slime and the Game Boy Micro. Well, you didn't even know what Rocket Slime was before Christmas morning. I didn't, and I love it. See, that's when you know um, that you are married to someone that knows you better than you know yourself. And Andy's really good at picking out my clothes and really good at picking out games that I would like to play. Yep. So he's pretty great. I wish that I could be the same for him. But his knowledge is just so expansive and he really likes to play a lot of different games. I'm going to uh, include a picture of where the NES Classic is currently because I like our little setup that I came up with. 
so you can see where it's at displayed with the other classics. Yeah, they all look really good together on the shelf. So it was a good Christmas and we had um, lots of great games in 2018. I'm really excited to add to our collection in 2019. So you back at the